Uh, I am Dr. Vinod, uh, interventional cardiologist, VR Raven Crosspetry. My colleague, Dr. Shrikant, critical care specialist. Dr. Shruti, she is also a critical care specialist. We, had, as a team, had a an, an wonderful experience of uh, diagnosing mm -hmm. and treating and very interesting case. Mr. Kalan Kumar presented to our hospital with a first single episode of an convulsion for the first time in his life. Yeah, most of the time, probably, if you overlook a single episode of a convulsion or seizure, what we call as fits, as something as a treatable cause, and we just treat with a medicine or injection and send off. But uh, we were out into a curiosity why a young person should present with, and we dig into the history. He had recurrent episodes of headache in the past, and that's how we thought we'll go ahead with a CT scan. And we got a CT scan done. Uh, unfortunately, CT scan was interpreted as as an, an a first episode of stroke, which was very unusual in terms of CT images and probably uh, uh, presentation without any neurological deficit in the sense without evidence of uh, loss of uh, motor power in the hand or leg. Uh, CT showing a huge large infarct was unusual. We were not happy with the uh, uh, report what we got and that's how we further proceeded to go on with an MRI scan of the brain. And we did an MRI to our surprise, we, we found an, an, a huge tumor into the right side of the cortex and uh, yeah, measuring almost uh, 3 into 4 centimeters. Yeah, we gave them an, an option of, uh, yeah, his convulsion fits was immediately controlled with a medication injection. Myself, Dr. Shrikan, Dr. Shruti, we as a whole team did a counselling with the family for the need for surgery because it was showing signs of raised intracranial tension. What I mean is, skull is a very tight space, brain cannot expand if anything new thing starts occupying to the space within the brain. The brain has to expand. So if the tumour is there, it will start pressing onto the other structures. So that's why we said like, today or not tomorrow, he will present with a stroke episode or loss of consciousness or loss of vision or uh, paralysis on one side or losing into coma. These were anticipated complications for future. We did a counselling with them. They trusted us. We had a oncosurgeon, Dr. Hari Prasad also to take an into uh, consultation and counselling done with the family. Once they consulted, we went with the surgery. Today we see Kalan a completely happy person. He's come out completely safe, out of the operating room, getting discharged today, without any neurological deficit. He's able to walk, move around, except for slight speech alteration defect, which was there post-operatively one, and we anticipate that he will get better in next four or five days. He started speaking few words currently, and and I still feel he will have a long journey of fruitful life without any much of complications or problems for future. He's come out very clean out of the surgery. Yeah, one episode of fits led to an investigation, diagnosis of a large tumour within the brain, operated, come out very slave and uh, it's a proud moment for us. The family has consented for it and we are happy for him and his wife and his, for his family. Yeah, Dr. Shrikant, you want to add something onto it, you can go ahead and add. It's a really wonderful case. Usually, 27 year old should not have these kind of symptoms. And whenever there is an infarct, they do present very differently. As Sir was a key head for us, he, his diagnosis initially helped us to go for a further more investigation, which showed the large left MCA territory. There was a tumor. So, it came out very well, mainly the family supported well, young champ today is doing very well. Shruti, you want to have some words? It, is, it, was, it was fantastic to have him uh, with us in the hospital, in fact, talking to him on a daily basis and trying to make him talk was also very nice and he also was very patient with us and he's improved which is all he wants, so that was nice. Early intervention will have the lesser uh, neurological defect. That is what's right. Sir. Yeah. Mm, good part is not much of neurological deficit, no morbidity. 
We are happy to see him walking, moving around, interacting. Here is his brother, then a wife, Lavanya, who trusted us. More importantly, Kalyan also trusted us, and his confidence, his trust in us, helped us to take him for surgery and give him a, 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 a outcome which he will be uh, fruitful for him and in terms of a happy moment for rest of his life. He will lead a normal life here after without much of complications. We removed almost ninety percent of tumor rates. Yeah. yeah. We have a very major OT where we can handle such cases. Almost ninety percent, ninety ninety five percent of tumor is removed. Here is his brother who will also account to his what is the experience and journey through the P R Ramkar Hospital. Yeah, we need this. Hmm. So uh, I just want to make one. Uh, statement on the behalf of all the doctors it's not the fame or it's not the money which uh, makes us uh, thrive or drive ourselves beyond our it's basically the happiness on the family and the patient when we leave the hospital motivates us drives us to go beyond our limits in terms of trying to get them recover and let them go with a good health that's that's the motivation which drives and it's not the money or fame and uh, yeah dr shikhan wants to add a little bit on to this yeah he is a perfect example uh, like 27 year old having recurrent headache before he went to so many clinics where only it was treated for headache not been investigated despite having recurrent headache so this is one of the best example that you should not neglect any signs and symptoms which showed by the body Initial, we feel it as it's just a headache, casual headache. But see, ultimately, the outcome is like tumor is there. So better not to neglect. Wherever you are, you, we are there to help you. You can reach us 24 by 7. Me, Dr. Uh, Vinod Ravenkar, Dr. Shruti will be there. We will be addressing all the issues. We are highly equipped to handle all the cases, and we take the facility of it. My name is Pawan Kumar, Kalyan brother, Nenu. యాక్చువల్లీ ఏం జరిగిందంటే ప్రీవియస్గా ఇంట్లో ఉన్నప్పుడు తను అన్కాన్ స్టేజ్కి వెళ్ళాడు అంటే పడిపోయాడు కాళ్ళు చేతులు రెండు ఇట్లా ఇమీడియట్గా హాస్పిటల్లో జాయిన్ అయినాం ఇక్కడ రేవంకర్ హాస్పిటల్లో ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ జాయిన్ అయిన తర్వాత కొద్దిగా వాళ్ళు ఏంటి ఇష్యూ అని ఫైండ్ అవుట్ చేశారు చూస్తే కొంచెం ఇష్యూ వచ్చి ఇట్లా కాళ్ళు వంకర పోయాయి ఆ తర్వాత సమ్ వీళ్ళు ప్లాన్ చేశారు ఏంటి ఏం పరిస్థితి ఎలా అని సార్ అడిగాడు ఎలా జరిగింది ఏంటి అనేసి ఆ తర్వాత మేము ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేసాం ఇలా ఇలా జరిగింది సార్ ప్రీవియస్లీ తను హెడ్డెక్తో ఫెయిల్ అయ్యేవాడు తర్వాత అట్లా మెడిసిన్ తీసుకున్నాడు అని ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేశాను వినోద్ సార్కి సార్ వచ్చేసి ఎన్నో ఇష్యూమా ఐ విల్ టేక్ కేర్ అని చెప్పాడు తర్వాత ఏం జరిగిన తర్వాత వన్ బై వన్ ఇన్వెస్టిగేట్ చేద్దాము ఏంటి ఇష్యూ అనేసి ఫైండ్ అవుట్ చేస్తాం తర్వాత సార్ చెప్పాడు నువ్వు వరీ అవ్వాల్సిన అవసరం లేదు ఐ విల్ టేక్ కేర్ అయిన్ ఆఫ్టర్ తర్వాత స్కాన్ తీసే స్కాన్కి వెళ్ళాము ఏంటి ఏమి వన్ బై వన్ స్కాన్ అన్నీ తీసారు బా బ్రెయిన్కు బ్రెయిన్లో మాకు తెలిసింది ఏంటంటే ట్యూమర్ ఉందని తెలిసింది ట్యూమర్కి ఏం చేయాలా ఏంటి అని సార్ని అడిగితే వరీ అవ్వాల్సిన అవసరం లేదు మేము ప్రాపర్గా ప్లాన్ చేస్తాం దానికి ఏం చేయాలనేసి మీకు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేశారు నాకు నేను అగ్రీ చేసిన తర్వాత సార్ వాళ్ళు బయట నుంచి ఇక్కడ సార్ వాళ్ళు మేనేజ్ చేసుకొని ఇక్కడ లోకల్లోని మాడ ఎక్స్పర్ట్ని పిలిపించారు న్యూ న్యూరాలజిస్ట్ను ఆపరేషన్ సక్సెస్ఫుల్గా అయిపోయింది వన్స్ ఆపరేషన్ అయిపోయిన తర్వాత మా బ్రదరు అప్పుడు కొంచెం లిటిల్ బిట్గా కొంచెము పెయిను అంతా ఉండింది అది టూ డేస్ తర్వాత తను చాలా రికవరీ అయ్యాడు రికవరీ అయిన తర్వాత 